card. That was another fantastic right hand from Rudell that would have put... This time, we are going to witness an extraordinary match. A Shaolin monk versus a Muay Thai legend. These two fighters come from very different backgrounds, each with unique skills and techniques. What will happen when these two martial arts giants meet? Let's dive in and find out. Their training includes a combination of meditation, Qigong, and various martial arts techniques. Shaolin Kung Fu is renowned for its powerful and acrobatic movements, animal styles, and the ability to harness inner energy for powerful attacks. First, let's take a look at the Shaolin Monk. Trained in ancient temples in China, Shaolin monks are known for their extraordinary discipline, mental fortitude, and physical abilities that surpass those of normal humans. Speaking of Shaolin fighters, we certainly cannot overlook the figure of Yi Long, a fighter from China who brands himself as a monk. And he just writes and says, Give me your best shot, and he has plenty of them. Still, he comes forward unbelievable. In 2011, Yi Long fought against a martial artist named Brad Riddell. This fight became one of the most memorable in Long's career due to one particular moment. For instance, when Long executed three spinning kick attacks in rapid succession. Or a secret move where he could absorb his opponent's strikes. The fighter from New Zealand pounded Yi Long relentlessly. Remarkably, Long did not flinch while receiving a barrage of powerful blows from his right opponent. Hand, and it looked like the lights went out for a second, but he just right. Riddell landed at least seven solid punches to Yi Long's face and jaw. He comes forward, unbelievable. Unbelievable, you would not believe that when somebody told Despite displaying an impressive performance, Yi Long was ultimately defeated by Riddell. On the other side, we have a Muay Thai legend. Hailing from Thailand, Muay Thai fighters are experts in using punches, kicks, elbows, and knees to deliver devastating effects. Their training is intense and relentless, focusing on building exceptional physical strength, speed, and endurance. Muay Thai legends are known for their powerful strikes, clinch techniques, and their ability to both withstand and deliver a large number of he's strikes. Here, boom, just right on the chin. And he's hurt bad here, but look at this second one, right to the side of the head. In the martial art of Muay Thai, one legendary name is Buakau Banchamek. It's hard to imagine how Buakau could be defeated in his current fights. Throughout his career, he has achieved a stellar record with 242 wins, 24 losses, and 14 draws. Buakau's physical prowess is not a coincidence, but the result of hard work and dedication in the gym over many years. At the crack of dawn, precisely at 5.30 a.m., he wakes up and begins his training routine. Step by step, Buakau conquers a running route of 10 to 16 kilometers as a warm-up. Tirelessly, he continues his routine with a 15-round fight training program. But that's not all. Around 3 p.m., he re-enters the gym for another 15-round training session. This is just a small part of his extraordinary routine. 
Wakao usually intensifies his training even further when he is preparing for a major fight. This is the secret behind his incredible physical strength. The first fight between Buakao and Yi Long took place in 2015 for the Wu Lin Feng kickboxing promotion. This duel followed rules similar to those in the Glory Tournament, which prohibit elbow strikes and clinch techniques. Yi Long opened the match with an impressive performance in the first round. He managed to deliver a deadly right punch to Buakao, even knocking him down with a powerful leg sweep. Not standing idle, Buakao quickly responded by holding his opponent in a clinch position while launching a series of punch and knee combinations. The second round progressed similarly to the first, with the difference that Buakao increasingly controlled the situation and successfully disrupted Long's attacks. <laughs> The third round witnessed an increase in Yilong's speed as he began attacking more aggressively. His best move was a convincing head kick to Buakao, followed by a surprising spinning hammer punch, but it still wasn't enough. Buakao regained control with sharp kicks and knees from the clinch position. Although Long tried to deliver a final attack, his efforts were too late. The match ended with the judge's decision, declaring Buakao Banchamek the winner. However, this decision was disputed by many Kung Fu fans. Some martial arts observers also believe that this duel highlighted the dominance and superiority of Muay Thai fighters when facing Shaolin. <laughs> Due to the controversial ending of their first fight, Wu Lin Feng eventually arranged a rematch the following year. This time, the Shaolin monk managed to avenge his loss in the first match. The rematch again lasted three rounds with Buakao once again dominating the fight. However, the referee decided that Yi Long won the match by unanimous decision. Despite this, the fight felt very challenging for Yi Long from the start, as Buakao managed to dominate the bout. Thus, spectators concluded that Buakao was the true winner. Nevertheless, the referee's decision awarded Yi Long the victory by unanimous decision. The two fights between Yi Long and Buakao have been watched by millions of people worldwide, and the results are still hotly debated. Due to the controversial decision, a third match has never been held and is likely never to happen. Fans may have to endure the bitterness of how this rivalry ended. Yeah, cool, cool.